On today's episode of The Joy of Editing, guess what? Topaz Photo AI gets a new update. This is version 1.1.7. And you know what else? We have a new cropping feature now. It's in the beta form right now. I'm going to show that to you today. You don't want to miss this one, so sit back, relax, and stay tuned. Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. Yes, Topaz Photo AI has a new update, version 1.1.7. And guess what? That long-awaited cropping tool has just cropped up in Photo AI. Now, it's only in the beta right now, so give Topaz some love here. You know, they're working on it. And don't forget to give them your feedback. Let them know what you want to see in this cropping tool. Don't forget, all you have to do is come up here to help and click on Give Feedback. It'll take you to the website, and you could give your feedback. You have to log in to do it. And I've explained this on other Photo AI update videos. But give them your feedback. It's so important because they do listen and they take everything you say seriously. And if it's something they can incorporate into Photo AI to make it a better product, you better believe they're going to do it. So don't forget, give them your feedback. By the way, if you don't yet own Topaz Photo AI or if you want to purchase some of the other great Topaz products, just click on my affiliate link. It's right down below in the description. It'll take you right here where you can purchase these products. When you use my affiliate link, I make a small commission and you're helping to support the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. It helps me to keep all these tutorials coming your way every week. And when you do that, when you use any of my affiliate links, I thank you. Now, before I show you how this new cropping tool works, remember it's in beta, by the way, let me show you what's happening here with this new update. Now, this update was released on January 12th. And the changes since 1.1.6 are added a cropping feature public beta, added about dialog. We now have an about dialog. I'll show you that. And they fixed horizontal scrolling, dragging, not working on file lists, fixed applying settings to all taking a long time, fixed some Images showing wrong dimensions in resize panels. So every week they're making fixes, repairs, adding things to Topaz Photo AI and so on and so forth. So it's pretty exciting. And now the moment you've been waiting for, let me show you the new crop feature in Topaz Photo AI. Now remember, again, it is in beta. Now if we turn our attention to the right side of the interface under upscale, we'll notice we have input. And now we have crop. And again, this is brand new. And we can see for input, we can see this is the original image. It's 73.2 megabytes. Now this was an iPhone image taken from an iPhone 13 Pro Max in Pro Raw, by the way. And we can see how wide it is. It's 30, 24 pixels. And how high it is, it's 40, 32 pixels high. And then we can see under output. So we have input, we have output. We're at 1x size, 1x right here. I'm not sure what this S stands for. If anybody knows, let me know in the comment section below. We're just at the original size, 1x. And right now it tells us this is how wide it is again, the same dimensions as it is on input and how high it is. And it also tells us that if we outputted it right now, the file size would be 65.9 megabytes. So it would be... A little smaller just a tiny bit smaller now the pixel dimensions would stay the same but the actual file size just shrinks a tiny amount oh and i almost forgot before i click on this crop let's come up here to topaz photo ai click on that and now we have about i'm pretty sure this is what they mean by the about dialogue so if you click on it it's going to tell you about this product what version you're on and a little bit of information about the product. And here's one that I like, Community. So if you click on Community, it's going to take you right to the Topaz Labs Community Forum where you could read all about the product releases and you can discuss the products. There's general discussions here. I highly recommend that you sign up for the forum. If you're not, go ahead and do it. It's a really wealth of good information and you'll see what other people were saying about topaz products so it's a good thing for all of us all right then let me click on crop i told you it's beta so here's what we have here aspect ratio original ratio 
see the little lock there so it's locked so i could come right now and change it you know make it smaller make it larger the crop but it's going to stay in the original aspect ratio now if you click the drop down you're going to see you have you can do custom a custom crop and then of course you have like your typical one by one, four by five or eight by 10, eight and a half by 11 and so on, all these different crops we can use here. And for this image, I was thinking a one by one crop. So if I click on one by one, you can see there's my one by one, here's my crop and I could drag this down, you know, and, so, and figure out how I wanna crop this image. And I'm thinking maybe something like, like this. I might just pull this in a little bit and something like that. Now, once I get my crop set, I can just come here and click apply crop. I won't crop it yet, but let's talk about this interface a little bit more. If I click the drop down again, we have all these different aspect ratios. I could go back to the original ratio. I can even reset this crop by clicking reset and now it's back. Or I could choose a custom crop. Now with a custom crop, you can go ahead and just adjust this any way that you want. I can pull this right side in, you know, I can move it around, make it smaller by dragging the corners like this and, and crop it into any aspect ratio that you would like. I'm gonna go ahead and reset it by clicking reset. And now it's back to that original aspect ratio. Or I could have just come here to the drop down because I know I want to do a one by one crop. So let me click one by one and again let's move this into position i'm thinking right about here i'm going to pull this right side in a little wee bit and just maybe a crop like that and now i can click apply crop and then you'll notice it's running it's scanning everything again because it's going to rescan the entire image apply sharpening and noise reduction if needed and now let's take a look. Now our size is 2878 by 2878. And if I outputted it right now, it would be 45.5 megabytes. So it's gotten smaller because I cropped it in. I've cut pixels off. But that would be way too small. I couldn't really do much with it other than put it on social media or something like that. But if I wanted to make a print out of it, that's kind of small. So let's see what happens if I go two times larger. So now it's going to be 5756 by 5756, which is pretty good. I could get a decent sized print out of there. But now you'll notice it's going to give us an output of 181.9 megabytes. And the size here was the original crop size, 2878 by 2878. And now it's upsizing it to 5756 by 5756. For comparison, let's compare the crop tool in Gigapixel AI to see what is really missing so far because we know we don't have much yet in Photo AI. So if we come up here, I'm in Gigapixel right now. If I come up here and click on crop, so you'll notice it looks pretty similar. Aspect ratio right now is in free. If I click the drop down, you know, we could do free, original, we could do a square, one by one, whatever we want to do. But let's pick one like, uh, 16 by 9 because I want to show you something we can't do in photo AI yet and this is something we need we can't flip this uh, aspect ratio around like you see the double arrows here if I click it see my crop right here and I can move this around I'm just showing you what what we can do here so let's click this flip and you see how it'll flip so we can flip it any way we want or we can input a number into here which is nice say if I wanted a crop that was like a 3 by two aspect ratio I can type those numbers in there and now here's a three by two aspect ratio and I could flip that around then I can resize it so we don't have that so we need something like this in photo AI that we can actually input our aspect ratio in here because that is definitely missing right now and one thing gigapixel doesn't have is the ability to rotate the crop. I wish they would add that to Gigapixel and I wish they would add that to Photo AI as well. But what I really hope is coming soon is the ability to input the aspect ratio that we want as well as flip that aspect ratio around if we need it. And again, the ability to rotate our crop if needed. Now this is not a Gigapixel tutorial by the way, but you see the undo crop here. If you click this, it'll reset your crop back to the original crop. And then you'd have to come here and click crop and start again. Now let's go back to photo AI. And now here we are back inside of photo AI. Now I already have my crop set, but what if I decided I wanted to change it? All I have to do is come back here and click on crop again. 
you know, and then I can move it around. I can adjust the size, whatever I want to do and go ahead and click edit crop. And now my crop is edited. And now all I have to do is save image and it will be saved. Now, after you do the crop, it's going to go ahead and uh, scan your image all over again because we now have the new crop. Well, there it is, everyone. This is the new update version 1.1.7 with the new cropping feature, which is in beta. And don't forget to give your feedback to Topaz. Let them know what you want to see. Like I want to see crop rotation. I want to see the ability to type in my aspect ratios and to flip those aspect ratios around. That would be nice. And one thing I do want to say, I think Photo AI is doing a really good job just with the autopilot. I'm, I'm really happy with it. And I'd like to hear what your comments are on Photo AI so far. Are you happy with the way it is going or are you not? Let me know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this uh, video today, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe. Click that bell notification icon. Then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll get a notification. Well, I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. And I will see you all right here next time. But until then... Happy editing!